Hello everyone, uh, I am here at the Port Union Drive Test Center today and I will be showing you the second uh, route for G2. Uh, when you first come here, uh, please make sure that you park your car in reverse in one of the designated uh, uh, spots, parking spots. Each spot has a number. Uh, please make sure you know the number of the spot and then once you know the number, you park your car. Uh, then you go inside uh, the test center. Uh, there are a couple of um, kiosks. Uh, you will have to uh, enter your information there and make sure that you enter your uh, driver's license, uh, the make uh, and color of your vehicle, your license plate number and the spot that you have parked your car at. Uh, once you do that and then uh, the next question will be if you are wearing uh, any eyeglasses if you are uh, please make sure you have uh, glasses and make sure you put yes if it's no then you put no and then the next question is if you have any medical condition so you can put no if you don't have any if you do put yes uh, and then um, you will uh, get the ticket then you enter all the information then you get the ticket uh, grab the ticket come back to your car uh, sit in your car wait for the examiner uh, when the examiner comes, please make sure you start your car, uh, put your seat belt on. The examiner is going to come from the left side of your car. Uh, he or she will introduce himself or herself to you. And then uh, they're going to ask you for your driver's license. Uh, your, uh, you will present your driver's license to them. And then they will ask for your full name, for your date of birth. And then they will ask you to beep the horn and then uh, they will go to the front of the car they're going to ask you for the right signal and then they will ask you for the left signal and then they will go to the back of your car and they will ask you for the same thing they will say right signal and then left signal and then they will ask you to put your foot on the brake and off the brake so you'll have to do that. Then the examiner is gonna come sit beside you in the car. He will read some stuff to you. And then once he or she reads the stuff, uh, then you will have to sign on their tablet. And once you sign that, then they will give you the direction to go. So when they give you the direction, they will tell you to go right. Uh, when you're going right, please make sure you put your car in drive and then you turn on your signal to the right. Please make sure you're checking left or right for any cars coming or any pedestrian. If there's no cars, slowly move with lots of caution. Uh, turn your car and you're going to start moving here. Uh, this speed, the suggested speed limit here is 25 to 30. Uh, but please make sure you're looking for any pedestrian uh, or any cars pulling out. And then start moving uh, this way. And as you're moving slowly, uh, Please uh, keep an eye on everything. And once you reach to this point of the uh, uh, spot, uh, this parking lot, keep right, slowly move to the right side. And then uh, once you get to this point, please make sure you uh, check your mirror signal to the right, check your blind spot to the right, and then you will slightly turn here. There's a street coming up, like look left. And then if there are any cars parked on this side of the road, please uh, make sure that you're maintaining one meter uh, space. And I'm approaching an always stop sign here. Please make sure you have your mirror signal blind spot to the right, complete stop look at the mirror left center right and then you move slightly and treat this road as two lanes this road as two lanes keep to the right the examiner will tell you to keep to the right uh, the speed limit here is 40 please maintain the 40 speed limit here do not exceed because it's a school zone area and do not exceed you will uh, they might ask you to change your lane to left so you can change your lane to left and in here uh, in the first video, we went to the left again, but here we are going to stay in the middle lane here uh, because this is a different route. Sometimes they will take you through uh, this route, some examiners. So here comes an always stop sign again. Uh, make sure you come to a complete stop. Look for who came first, uh, first come, first uh, serve. So we check, check, check all sides and then it's my turn. I'm moving. Uh, they may ask you to stay in the same lane. Uh, there are two lanes that go to the left. Uh, so they're going to ask you to turn left at the traffic light. So mirror signal blind spot to the left. And when if there is a car in front of you, please make sure that you're maintaining enough space uh, where you can uh, see the tires in a little bit of the ground. Please do not 
push forward uh, because it's called stopping distance. Please make sure you have enough stopping distance. So while you're waiting for the traffic light, please make sure you're checking your mirrors, your left side, right side. Keep an eye on the traffic light as well. Um, there are two lanes, as I mentioned here. Um, the, the left lane also turns left and the middle lane uh, turns uh, left as well. And then there's a right lane that goes to the right. But I am in the middle lane. Uh, so as soon as I turn, uh, the speed limit on that road will be 60. And then I will be asked to change my lane to the left. So now, right now, I'm waiting for the red light. Um, so the, the light just turned green and there is an arrow as well. So uh, we have the chance to go now. So I'm going to continue uh, going. I'm, I will be turning left. Please make sure when you're turning left, you stay in the center lane. Do not jump back to the first lane. So I'm turning here. The speed limit here is 60. Uh, you will be asked to change your lane to left because we will be turning left in, at the next traffic light. So mirror signal blind spot. When it's safe, change your lane. And again, you'll be asked, uh, all you have to change your lane to the left again, mirror signal blind spot, and then keep your signal on uh, and you will have to turn left again here. So when you get here, again, the same thing, maintain enough gap between your car and the car in front of you. So we are waiting here uh, for the light. Uh, this uh, intersection is a little bit of tricky. Uh, what happens here is uh, when you're waiting, uh, you're going to see it uh, green. Uh, sometimes uh, the, the, uh, the, the opposite uh, traffic light will be green, but that will be still red. So one thing uh, you should remember when you're here and if it's green light, when one car is in the middle there, please make sure you are not the second car pushing yourself and wait for that car to go. Then you go. Now that car is gone. I will go there. I'll wait here to make sure there's no car no pedestrian to the left check left side and then you're gonna move to the first lane closest to you here and once you go about 15 20 meter meters then you will switch your lane to right mirror signal blind spot to the right and the speed limit here is 60 as well so continue on this lane um, you will uh, approach another traffic light here uh, where you if it's red make sure you come to a complete stop and wait for it until it turns green so they will bring you uh, here this way it's a red light so I'm gonna stop here it's a green light now so I'm I can move um, the the speed limit again here is 60 please make sure you are reaching to 60 speed limit and continue do not go over the speed limit here as well and you might be asked to change your lane to left uh, because you will be turning left so mirror signal blind spot to the left when it's safe change your lane to left and then you'll be asked to turn left on this upcoming street here so mirror signal blind spot to the left and once you get here please make sure you come to a complete stop as you guys can see there are cars coming and it's not safe for me to make the left turn here so I'll wait for all these cars to go and then when it's safe I will go I'll check my pedestrian I'm looking left now I can go make my uh, safe uh, left turn here. So once again here, uh, Wendorf, uh, the speed limit is 40 here. Please maintain this, your speed limit at 40. And I will be facing uh, a one-way stop sign here. So mirror signal blind spot to the left. I will be asked to turn left here. So please make sure you're coming to a complete stop here. Uh, check your mirror left, center right, left again and crawl move slowly making sure that left right you're checking there's no traffic and then you're turning left so when you turn once you turn left then you keep moving again the speed limit here is uh 40 so maintain the 40 speed limit and they will take you to one of these streets uh maybe they, they will take you to one of these streets to uh, do uphill downhill parking parallel parking on, on any of these streets so i'm not gonna do that because it's gonna make the video too long um, I'll just continue on, on this route uh, but as you know that this is where they're gonna ask you to do uphill and downhill parking if there is a car coming please make sure you wait and then when it's safe then you move back uh, these park cars uh, as you guys know there's a school zone here please stay away from them like one meter space and be very cautious look for any pedestrian any children any students or anything like that as you guys can see there's a car that stopped for me because I'm coming which is the right thing to do so and then continue and then I'm gonna face another stop sign here 
uh, it's an always stop sign mirror signal blind spot to the left you will be asked to make a left turn here so you come to a complete stop mirror left center right left again make sure it's your turn and then you're going to be turning left again here once again treat this road as two lanes uh, turn closest to closer to the yellow lane and then you can switch your lane to the right mirror signal blind spot to the right and then you're going to switch your lane uh, you're going to do a lane change here and then once you approach here uh, as we go the speed limit here again it's 40 and you will be asked to make a right turn at the uh, stop sign so it's an always stop sign uh, we're going to go there and i will be coming mirror signal blind spot to the right and then i'll be coming to a complete stop again here guys this is very important it's an always stop sign please watch for pedestrian or anything so i have a pedestrian i'm gonna stop wait for the pedestrian and do not start moving until the pedestrian crosses the island to the left so once the pedestrian crosses the island and then i'm gonna move to the right and i will be going back to the plaza so once you get here again mirror signal blind spot to the left check for any oncoming traffic please make sure that you know if these cars are pulling out or anything uh, be cautious and then once you reach here then again mirror signal blind spot to the right and then um, we're gonna turn right here once you get here it's a one way um, doesn't matter you can keep to the left and then you will be asked to park in one of the spots available at the time when you're returning from your road test so this basically was the g2 uh, route number two so if you see any cars pulling out and stuff like that just be uh, alert and watch for any cars uh, make sure that you're safe and everybody else is safe and then you'll be asked to park in one of these spots so mirror signal blind spot to the right and then i will be parking in one of these spots and then make sure you turn full and then you come to a complete stop right here and that is it that's your g2 route and they will say congratulations and you meet all the ministry requirements thank you for watching